hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video from matt watch and it's titled how is it that drew barrymore has the wisdom of a 19 year old you guys i'm super excited for this if you're here to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what matt watch has for us in this video today for our daily cancellation we turn to drew barrymore the actress turned talk show host recently had a lot of uh, a lot to say a lot of rather glowing things to say about divorce barrymore has been divorced three times that is what? she has failed in marriage three times wow. she has broken her wow, vows Lord. three times and now she pretends to be very happy about it uh she expressed that happiness in a conversation this week with marie osmond who has two divorces under her belt but before we get to that conversation you should know that barrymore has has been uh, very open about her divorce her divorce is for a long time. In fact, one might say she's been far too open about them. A few years ago, Barrymore invited one of her ex-husbands, Tom Green, onto her show where they proceeded to have an unbearably awkward conversation on television in front of a live studio audience wow. for reasons that are not quite clear. Uh, well, for, I don't How do people watch this show? I mean, what? Just to start with, sleep sleep is i have a weird thing about sleep like what your weird thing is that you like you you like to sleep that's not weird we all it, as human beings we all enjoy sleeping we need to sleep all of us so there's not yeah. it's not like a, a unique quirky thing about you drew, drew barrymore <laughs> is that you enjoy sleeping everybody enjoys uh, sleeping but a few other takeaways here first of all she she divorced the guy didn't speak to him at all for 15 years apparently then invited him on invited him onto her talk show for what to have an emotional heart to heart in front of a television audience yeah. Which is bizarre behavior, to say the least. Yeah. Second, she recounts a story of feeling safe and content when she was married to Tom Green. And yet, she divorced him mere months after this cherished memory took place. <laughs> Her marriage to Tom Green lasted from 2001 all the way to the year 2002. And she continues in that conversation to profess her love and admiration for the man. And claims that she's always loved and celebrated and admired him. The man that she divorced after 12 months and proceeded to cut out of her life completely for the next two decades. Imagine. If that's how she treats people that she loves and admires, one would hate to imagine how she treats people that she actually doesn't exactly. like. And that brings us to uh, the conversation this week in which Drew Barrymore declares that after three failed marriages, she is, like, totally liberated. Here's the Daily Wire. Quote, actress Drew Barrymore said she's not embarrassed about being divorced three times. Instead, she feels liberated. Quote, I had so much shame around divorce, and for some reason, something happened, and I said, I'm no longer willing to feel this way. And it just lifted for me, Barrymore said of her own experience. She went on to describe how she sees divorce as preserving, quote, the, pre the precious commodity we have on this planet, which is our only our time. And when you're truly in a situation that isn't functioning the way that optimally it, it hopes and wishes to be, we accept that, and we improve our quality of life by moving forward. Divorce now, to me, I don't have shame around it. I'm like totally liberated, Barrymore added. Wow. Now, Marie Osmond, uh, unsurprisingly, agreed, quote, talk show guest and famed singer Marie Osmond agreed that divorce could be positive. She said that uh, while she thinks married couples should be doing everything possible to make a marriage work, she also stressed that both parties should do the work. Quote, I also believe that there are some divorces made in heaven. In my situation, I divorced at 50, and I had eight children that I needed to support, take care of. I was basically the breadwinner. Now, you know, it never ceases to amaze me that um, that people can live for so many years, and in, in Barrymore's case, five decades, and yet learn absolutely nothing, gain no wisdom at all. Because wisdom, as we can see, is not automatically accrued with age. It is offered. Opportunities are presented to obtain it, but you have to actively participate in the process of obtaining that wisdom. Yeah. If you don't, then you run the risk of becoming like Drew Barrymore, pushing 50, but with all the insight of a 19-year-old sorority girl. <laughs> wow, you guys. That was such a funny one from Matt Walsh. And what are your thoughts on Drew Barrymore inviting her ex-husband to her show? I feel that was an awkward move from Drew Barrymore inviting your ex to your show. After 20 years of being divorced, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you guys think Drew Barrymore divorced her ex-husband because she wanted to pursue her career and let her love life suffer? But now she's beginning to realize that she has loved this man all along. Drop your comment in the comment section down below and let's wrap this video up, you guys.
And there are many ways to fail at life, you know, uh, many ways to fail at life. But one of them, maybe the biggest one, is to fail to gain wisdom. A person who gets older but not wiser has failed in the most fundamental way that a person can fail. Yeah. In fact, you know, I, I don't presume to know or to predict what will happen when we stand before the throne of judgment at the end of it all. But I do know that this is one question God could ask that would reveal everything. You know, he could say, uh, it's a simple question. Tell me what you've learned. And if the answer is, well, uh, like, I, I, t- I guess I totally just learned that, you know, like, you, you got to do what makes you happy. <laughs> then the lever is pulled, the trap door opens up, and enjoy your trip down south. That's how it could work anyway. The interesting thing to note here, though, is that people who make a point of claiming that they aren't ashamed of a certain thing will almost always go on to talk about that thing in a way that reveals that they are, in fact, deeply ashamed of it. I mean, there is nobody more ashamed of divorce than the person who goes around blowing a trumpet and declaring that they're not ashamed of divorce. That's why she talks about divorce in such a roundabout, euphemism-laden way, in a very sanitized way. She says that when you're, when you're truly in a situation that isn't functioning the way that optimally it hopes and wishes to be, we accept that and we improve our quality of life by moving forward. Mm. I mean, that, that means basically nothing. To the extent that it means anything at all, it sounds like she's talking about her decision to, say, cancel her gym membership or delete her Uber Eats app and use DoorDash instead. I mean, you, you, you cannot claim that you have no shame about something when you can't bring yourself to talk about it in an honest way. If you feel the need to lie to yourself about something that you've done, th- then you obviously are ashamed of it. Yeah, and the biggest lie that Drew Barrymore tells and that many divorced people tell is that the divorce was something that just happened. They didn't choose it. They didn't walk into it knowingly, willingly, with their eyes opened. They say instead that uh, the situation wasn't functioning optimally, like they're describing a malfunctioning smartphone. The only real role that they had to play in the collapse of of their own marriage was just to accept it. You know, accept that it was happening, and there was nothing they could do to prevent it. But this is, again, a lie, and it's a lie that, that should be, in some sense, actually comforting to those unmarried younger people who are afraid of marriage because of the Drew Barrymore's of the world. You know, the good news for you is that, well, for one thing, you're not going to accidentally end up with a self-centered bimbo like Drew Barrymore. You might end up with one like that, but only if you do it on purpose. The Drew Barrymore's of the world cannot possibly present themselves as serious, trustworthy people for long enough to fool any man with more than two brain cells. But the other piece of good news is that despite the rationalizations some particularly dishonest divorced people make, the reality is that divorce is actively chosen. It is something that some couples work towards. Maybe not with divorce consciously in mind as the end goal, but they're working towards it all the same. It doesn't just happen. You don't fall into it one day like falling into a puddle. It doesn't arise passively out of situations. It is a conscious choice. Yeah. And, and usually, not always, but usually one that both parties have a hand in making. Which means that staying married, being happy, is also a choice. Exactly. You just have to make it. Mm-hmm. You make it today, and then you make it tomorrow, and then you make it the next day, until death do you part. It's pretty simple. Maybe not always easy, but it is simple anyway. And that's how you avoid ending up like Drew Barrymore, who is today canceled. Why you guys? What are your thoughts on this video? I really loved everything Matos said. When it happens once, it's a mistake. But when it happens three times, it's obviously a choice. And Drew Barrymore not being ashamed of failing a marriage three whole times is a total disgrace from her. Let me know what you guys think about Drew Barrymore inviting her ex-husband over to her show do you think is a wise move leave your comment in the comment section down below and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys